Hey everybody, Mike here. It's late on a Friday night, but I had to get this one out. Invites across Canada have started flowing out from SpaceX for early public beta users of the Starlink constellation. I've got pricing, timelines, and which provinces are seeing service coming up. <laughs> It's Friday the 13th in the year 2020. Some might say it's gotta be the most unlucky day ever, but it really turned itself around a little bit after 9 p.m. Atlantic time tonight. Starlink started sending out invites for the public beta in Canada. And I'm super stoked to say that I made it into the first round. I know it's all up to chance, but my name got picked, so expect to see a lot of details on when the service is being shipped, uh, when it's likely to arrive, and more details on as it rolls out in the country. So far, I've got confirmed invites in Alberta, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, that's me, Ontario, and Saskatchewan. I haven't seen anything for BC, but it looks like this is pretty much coast to coast uh, invites going out. The latitudes seem to be kind of around 46 degrees at the most southern, right up to a little bit over 50 degrees, 50.3. So that gives you an idea of what band they're covering there. Um, it's still very early, so I expect to get more updates coming in, but it looks like this is pretty much a nationwide rollout, so pretty exciting. Uh, next up, the details on the cost. So you can see here, this is the purchase page for me. Uh, now we've got Canadian dollars, $649 Canadian for the actual Starlink kit. This is compared to $499 US dollars. Shipping and handling for me here in Nova Scotia works out to be $65 Canadian. All of this is taxed at your provincial rate. So for me in Nova Scotia, that's 15%, making it $107.10. For a grand total upfront cost of $821.10. So definitely not cheap, but for anyone out there who's suffering from really bad internet, I'm pretty sure you're willing to pay this, or certainly in my comments, I've heard a huge number of people who would pay this and more to get off their crappy provider onto something fast like this. And then the last price, you don't pay this up front, but this is the monthly fee, is $129 per month. So compare that to the $99 US, and it looks to be pretty much a straight comparison based on the exchange rate. So no real surprises there. I've been pouring through the terms and conditions and legal documents looking for anything significantly different between the US and Canada. There's definitely some differences where in Canada, a lot of the terms of service mention uh, the CRTC, uh, things like that, but pretty much as far as I've found so far, it's exactly the same generally as the US terms and conditions, so no real difference there. So of course, I placed my order as soon as the email came in. I've now got a confirmed order. I can log into the Starlink portal. There's not a lot there because I don't have any service yet. I can see the order, but there's no um, tracking numbers yet. I'm guessing this probably won't ship out until Monday. So I'll be watching, hoping, waiting to see that delivery date. Uh, as soon as I have more details, I'll definitely share. Uh, if you want to get all these updates, subscribe down below, hit the bell icon so you get notified as soon as the videos come out. I'm going to be doing a ton of coverage, all the nitty gritty details of everything there is to know about the Starlink service. Thank you everyone for watching. More videos coming. See you next time.